All right. So we've been talking about cultivating thankfulness. Any of you guys work in a garden? No? no, no. One, two, three people work in a garden. Cultivate is a, is a, is a word that means you've got to kind of turn the soil over and work at it and, and pull, get some of the weeds out of it and, and make it loose so that you can put the good stuff in and then it can grow. What we're doing today in the next three weeks is we're laying a foundation for this. How do we make thankfulness in our lives? How do we till our, our souls and our spirits? How do we work in the, the soil of, of who we are? So that thankfulness isn't just a, oh yeah, I should do this, and I remember it once a year. But thankfulness and gratitude and graciousness actually becomes more of who we are. Now, how do you do that? Well, remember the enemy of, of thankfulness is what? Thank you. The enemy of thankfulness is me-centeredness. Which means you're going to have to work some of that me-centeredness out so that thankfulness has the opportunity to grow. That verse we just put together gives you the start. Every good and perfect gift is what, from where? Above. It doesn't say it's from me. It doesn't say I earned it. It says every blessing that you have, every good and perfect gift is from above. It's from God. It's from our, our Father in Heaven. Thankfulness starts with recognizing God's blessings. And recognizing that they are blessings and they are from God. So understand, number one, that ultimately all our gifts, all our blessings, all that we've received and are thankful for comes from God. And, and, and recognize, number two, that those blessings are in fact gifts. And a gift is something that you're just given. You don't earn it. You don't deserve it. It's just given to you. Every good and perfect gift is from where? Above, from God. And it's a gift that comes by His grace just because God is good all the time. And God loves you all the time. And when you recognize that, then start to apply the rhythm that we learn early in life. Parents, what do you teach your kids? When you, when you say please, then you respond with? Thank you. Right? Let's practice that for a minute. Please. 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 All right. Now let's apply that same thing into our relationship with God. Because we ask God stuff all the time. God, please give me that. Please give me that. Please give me that. And God is so good that he gives us so much of that. Let's remember that it comes from God and then apply that same rhythm into our lives with God so that when we receive it, we say, Thank you. Thanks. And then, let me give you two practical things. Number one, when you get to that spot where you're saying thanks, hit the pause button. Hit the pause button. Live in that thankful space for a minute. What I mean by that is, instead of just going, oh yeah, God gave me that, thanks God, and on to the next thing. Oh yeah, thanks God, and on to the next thing. Spend a moment when you remember to give God thanks of just pausing in that space and thinking about how, how good God was and how good that feels and, and what it means to, to say thanks. And you might find as you're resting in that thankful space, it actually feels pretty good. And, and it might give you a little bit of, of peace and contentment in your life. And then I would encourage you, if you're writing these down, here's the fifth thing, and, and it's, uh, start a new habit. And here's the habit. This is something I've started uh, to do, and it's really helped me in my attitude. It's to start and end each day telling God something that I'm thankful for. Just start the day. It's amazing how different, what a difference it makes to my attitude the rest of the day if I wake up and I start the day, even if I know it's got a cruddy day coming, to say, God, thank you for this. And, and, and to find that one thing that I can say today, 
I'm thankful for this. Today I'm thankful for my family, or I'm thankful for my spouse, or I'm thankful that I'm breathing, or I'm, I'm thankful that I'm breathing in San Diego rather than like Minnesota in winter or something like that. Whatever it is, start each day saying, God, I'm, I'm thankful for that. Maybe it's a tangible thing. Maybe it's an attitude change. Maybe it's um, a faith thing. But start and end the day. Start and end the day acknowledging God and thanking God for that thing. And then again, lingering and pausing in that space. And lingering and pausing in that space, and, and, and as you do that, you might even find that you kind of like lingering there. And that it actually makes you feel good, and it makes you a whole lot better to be around. And, and, and you find that peace of God taking root in your heart, and, and, and you start being able to be grateful and thankful as a more regular way of, of who you are. And, and then you find that God's grace is at work in your life. And it really does make a difference. It, it starts by taking a little bit of the focus off of me and saying, oh yeah, let me turn outward and upward and remember that these blessings, they're God's blessings. And they come from God. And I'm thankful. And that's good space to be. I want to encourage you to do that this week. And I want to encourage you to come back next week.